Hey guys, um, so this is um, a blender motor actually. Um, from an old blender, there was no electronics in it like the new fancy blenders have buttons for different settings. Um, this, this blender just had on and off and this would, was the motor. I took the uh, um, shaft out of the middle and turned it into a quadruple magnet. So as you can see here, uh, I have the two power resistors for a 2N3055 flyback driver fed with about 10 volts from my uh, power supply. And so uh, those are the power resistors, as I said before. Um, that's the flyback, and the 3055 is right there. Um, this is just set up as your standard flyback driver, nothing special at all. I have the battery feeding the um, filaments, and I have that set up as the um, quadruple magnet around the gun. So the way it works is each coil's connected opposite. So the, the ends of each coil, there's an end at the bottom and an end at the top for each coil. Um, and I just, it, it used to be that the ends were, the ends at the top were connected in the middle, but I cut it and stripped the wires. So the end at the top for one of the coils is connected to the end at the bottom for the other coil. Um, and that turns it into a quadruple magnet. So essentially the uh, coils are connected in parallel, but one coil is connected the opposite direction of the other coil. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm basically going to tap the coil um, t to turn it on and off. And you can see how it functions as a quadruple magnet. So I'm just going to turn out the lights here, and then turn on the um, turn on the um, electron gun. But the way this works is that um, you're thinking, well, your past quadruple magnet uh, it had four coils. You can look up that video; it's on my channel. But this quadruple magnet, you really only need two coils for a quadruple magnet because um, the the charge will actually uh, it'll be minus at, at the coil directly above the coil and plus at direct or sorry south and north um, as you can see here I'm tapping it on and off and then the charge will you know what just go look up a diagram on the internet it's hard to explain by voice but as you can see here I'm turning on and off the quadruple magnet and uh, it's sort of focusing it um, sort of down to the left um, now it's focusing it horizontally and now it's focusing it vertically. You can see it's it's very good at focusing. Where, so you see that big dot um, that's without the magnet. And then with the magnet, it becomes a very thin line in the horizontal and the vertical direction. So you can see when I turn it on, it becomes this thin line um, because it's it's basically the quadruple magnet is forcing all the electrons to either go into the X or the Y direction. Um, so whatever their spot uh, in the screen, it's going to shove them over to the... Uh, X or the Y, depending on how I rotate the magnet. Here I'm just rotating the magnet, as you can see. So you can see it does a pretty good job at focusing it horizontally or vertically. Um, and you can see without it, it's just a blob, basically. So Pretty interesting, and I think it works pretty well. Um, so it, I mean, it's uh, just experimentally, I thought, hey, this, quad, this uh, blender motor is set up pretty much perfectly for a quadruple magnet if I cut the wire that connects the coils. Um, so you can maybe see that in the pictures that are coming up, but it works pretty well. It's not the best quadruple magnet because I can't really put too much power through it. This is only, that uh, battery I'm only connecting it to about six volts. Um, and it's, I don't know how much current it's drawing. Each coil is about six, um, it's probably drawing about one amp per coil. So not very much power putting through it. But if you can see through these pictures here, I just want to make sure that you, you realize how it's set up is each coil has an end at the top and an end at the bottom, in this case, left and right. And the, the end from the left side of one coil would be connected to the end of the right side from the other coil, and the left side from one coil will be connected to the right side of the other coil. And then those two will be um, connected up to the plus and the minus of the battery. And, um, yeah, so that, that would cause it to behave like a quadruple magnet. As you can see here, the, the iron ring on the inside is connected to the... I think it's iron on the outside, but it could be a, some other ferrous material um, to create the magnet. So